you know what might be an interesting execution for this? Uh, commissioning someone for further illustration art. I think that that would actually be really interesting, because then you can you can have the basic idea of the monster. All right, ladies, gentlemen, otherwise distinguished guests, uh, we are gonna just hop right into this because this is completely uh, off the cuff here. But I saw that Chimera existed, and I was thinking about it. I watched some videos on it, and I wanted to play with it <laughs> in some of the worst ways possible. Like, obviously, this thing already makes pretty, pretty freaky creatures, right? So what we're gonna do. <laughs> is instead of, of you know, trying to make a creature, which I guess we could, we could even go in there with my dragons that I made in the last video. I'm using quotation marks, but I realized that you can't see those. Uh, but first, I want to draw some super stylized animals, because that is my go-to. So... We're gonna draw some sparkle dogs, and we're gonna see what they look like in this this AI, which is basically, um, it's like a creature mashup that you use to create monsters and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm just gonna really get in here and start with the small one and kind of go in with a sketch. This, uh, this drawing area is very tiny by comparison. I've got like, I'm sure you guys could probably see it too. The, I can't really, but like, when you're looking at it up close, the compression on these things looks kind of goofy. I'm sure they kind of took maybe things from other pictures or something and they're all stretched out. So in the end, it looks a little like super pixelated and or just like messed up. I don't know what's going on here. I don't know how these AI work. Round head muzzle and we're doing three-quarter view of course get that full sparkle dog effect here <laughs> I saw something about kind of drawing the head that's not head what do you mean? <laughs> drawing the ears around the head <laughs> oh, that's too oh god I forget that I can't erase I can't undo <laughs> we're gonna give it big old eyes Oh, it's gonna turn out creepy. Ears. Do the ears kind of. I can undo. It's part of the head we've created here. Because it looks like it kind of makes like inner ear. So <laughs> that's our beginning. Our head and our noses. We kind of have noses, right? Oops, there it is. Puppy nose. And this is the very first time I'm using this, so we're learning together what this is going to look like. I'm just looking at like this goofy little picture too. This is probably not the way to do this, but I probably could have gone in and sketched or something. <laughs> we're learning firsthand, okay? Okay. Can't undo. I'm using my tablet and like by complete, obviously, by uh, by habit, I am uh, <laughs> I'm clicking my undo hotkey and uh, and trying to work with like pen pressure, but that obviously doesn't work in this circumstance. It's very, very paint-like, like Microsoft Paint. It's kind of like a coyote, doesn't it? And it doesn't look entirely like a dog. Add in some pizzazz and like, I don't know, change its stance around. So it's got one leg back here. Like he's doing a little, you know, he was doing a little strut. I don't know. I'm trying to think about how I would draw like a really like stylized cartoony dog. I mean like, Shouldn't this be the foot? I don't want to mess with it that much, but I feel like if we want to get some good dogish action, we should make that the foot. Separate these toes a little bit. Oh, I'm so concerned as to how this is going to turn out. Let's see. Claws. Alright, are we missing anything really? Mm, clean up the muzzle a little bit. There we go. 
<laughs> oh, are we ready for our first monstrosity? Oh wait, I forgot to put bottom. Now, I guess for the moment of truth, we put it off long enough. It's taking a minute. Oh! Oh! It looks kind of like a chihuahua. Oh! What happened to the tail? What happened to the anything? Oh, that's such a weird amalgamation. It did not like that. What is going on here? Oh, it's so weird. What happened to the eyes? Does it have- oh, it has little slits for eyes. Oh no. I wonder how they got the- was it the, the bottoms to render in some of these? didn't look like it did much for this at all, did it? It did not like these shapes. Huh. The ears look nice, at least. But they don't look very, um... They don't look very happy. With what, what's been done to them. <laughs> oh, the muzzle looks so flat. Hmm. The legs don't even look like they're attached to the body. It just looks like it took a cutout of what I made and then like put the textures on it, you know? Which I, I guess is what the AI does, right? Let's move on. Let's do my, my dragons. I don't have them pulled up. Hmm. One sec. Okay, so we've got Fred pulled up in our reference here. Let's try to <laughs> draw my uh, creature amalgamation and see if this does any him any justice. Probably it's gonna draw him exactly. Oh, it is not gonna like those feet. It's filling the head here. I don't know how this does with closed mouths. We'll have to see. Oh god, this is gonna be more terrifying than the original Fred. The original Fred was kind of cute. I mean, mainly because I drew him. I have a curse of cute, but this, this is gonna be terrifying. Seems like the last time, if I had anything kind of in between them, it made it a little, uh, goofy. So I'm gonna try not to have any black space in here. I'm trying, you know, beyond the fact that I was going for <laughs> not serious at all. I do enjoy trying my best with things. Now for these legs, dear god. I don't really know if the foot top, foot bottom thing does anything. I'm gonna try. Maybe I could look at the other examples to see what it kind of defines. Actually, you know what I might do here? Let's see if that does anything. <laughs> and now we get to play with the wing function. I'm gonna take for his frills. I guess this is ignoring all the other space that I put in here, but you know. That little spike in the top is gonna be so horrific. I know it is. Okay. Dare try to add some claws here. Add a little bit more uh, wing to the end of the tail here to see what exactly that'll do. <laughs> I do appreciate these brush settings, by the way. The the sizes, even though I'm more used to um, I'm more used to like pen pressure. It does. Oh, his eyes! Oh, I almost put an eye on the tail. They're very similar colors. Um, but yeah, I appreciate these brush sizes because they're very, they're very varied in a way that works. Like the smallest brush is really small and sometimes it's like you either wind up with a, you know, a large brush that's way too big and a small brush that's way too small and then like a medium brush that's still too big. It's, I'm just going to add all the details haphazardly and see if anything sticks way that I want it to. It's like these are frills really, they're not wings, but I figure that the the skin wings, you know, will probably be the closest to what what Fred has all over him. I mean I was trying to make him look like a dragon. And that's why I gave him those frills. But it's uh not working in my favor. I saw something that was like a, a feathered version. So maybe I could also try what is it? Uh crooked? Okay. I think we're ready. 
Oh, <laughs> what happened? Oh, but the... It worked, kinda. The wings. <sighs> now look at those eyes. Dear God. We're having, we get in the beginning of like, what looks like a decent foot. So I think we did good there. That tail isn't, uh, isn't doing too well. Why is he so off-center of, like, the whole... The whole thing here? Oh God, yeah, that's interesting. I mean, it didn't turn out too terribly. <laughs> it could... It could resemble the beginnings of a, of a creature. Oh, that's so weird, though. Alright, I'm gonna do one more. I'm gonna try Crooked. Okay, for those of you that didn't watch the dragon video, this is another one of our animal mashups that I made, Crooked. He's, <laughs> he's kind of a cutie. I always liked him. And now we're gonna make him terrifying. In his reference, he's got his wings down, but I'm gonna put them up to give him a fighting chance. Maybe now we can make Crooked look truly like a dragon. It doesn't have a beak function, so I'm working with the muzzle. So this is gonna be equally terrifying. And then I'm gonna put the nose up here. So these round shapes seem to imply a feathered wing. Hopefully it'll pick that up. If not anything else. Actually, I wonder if I could get some in the swallow tail back here too. I doubt that'll do anything, but you know. All right, I'm gonna leave the back foot out of the and here. Oh wait, I'm gonna do some claws. We would he just do that if anything would happen? We try both ways. Okay. Transform. It's thinking. Oh, <laughs> oh, it sunk too hard. Oh no! Oh, the tail looks kind of monkeyish, but that could just be the shape of it. <laughs> what happened to the wing? Did I not separate them enough? I wonder. The feet almost look um, like raptor claws, so they've got that going for them. Oh, what's happening up here? Hmm. Let's add a little bit to this. This looks kind of promising. Maybe if we add more definition between the feathers. Then apparently we just need to keep doing that little head method because that's the only way we're getting any ear that looks mammalian out of this. The eye still seems to be too big for what we're trying to go for, so maybe I need to make that smaller. Let's try this. Ooh! Okay, that's slightly better. Still didn't really give us a feathery wing. Hmm. What's going on over here that it's not rendering one part of it? I wonder what's up with that. Hmm. God, the feet do look almost perfect. They've got that raptory look to them. And then the legs are just so piddly. Okay. Uh, let's try this. Looks like no matter what we do to the foot there, it's not really gonna give us much. Unless we do that. And then, maybe, transform. Jeez, it really has to think about it. <laughs> okay. Now I'm, of course, getting serious about this to see if I can get anything good about good out of it. Oh, it's so getting there, though. Mm, you can take away the mouth thing. Maybe that'll help. Because this looks beakish. Okay. Ready? Go! God, it really is the thing about this stuff. Oh. Okay, yeah, getting rid of some of that bottom of the paw pad made the claws come in easier. The legs are starting to shape, make shape a little bit. The ears are kind of monstrous. One second. Let's separate them a little further. There's so many seams. 
you know? All right, I'm gonna play with this one more time and try and get something out of it, and then I'm gonna stop because it's been forever and intended this to be kind of a short, a short romp into this AI. It is fun though. Oh. Why are you so off center, huh? I wish I could make you move a little bit. I'm not going to be doing it today. I think I'm gonna leave this here on this fabulous creature. I might come back to this because it does it does seem fun. It looks like there are some ways that they've kind of figured out how to make it work. Not totally, but yeah, I wonder if you could get something from paint with a black background like this and then just fill it in with the specific colors. I, I don't know how it works. Uh, so that way you could even have like the white uh, that is the, the ground it seems to render in some of these. It's like hard mode or um, I guess the specialized mode. All right. All right, I'm going to leave this here uh, and I will see you all next time.